while the Iowa football team battled the Ohio State Buckeyes in Columbus, an empty Kinnick Stadium meant Hawkeye fans had to look elsewhere to catch the black and gold in action. Some Iowa citizens and students gathered to watch the game at local bars such as DC's and the downtown Ped Mall area. With over a dozen flat screen televisions throughout the bar, DC's is a popular location for many Hawkeye fans to root on their team from afar and a fun environment for both customers and bar staff alike, according to one server. The best part about being at the bar is definitely being able to like interact with other people and like still have fun while working. Fellow server Megan Hartman agreed with her co-worker citing the bar's energy as a reason she gets excited to work on Hawkeye game days. I like the atmosphere of people. <laughs> There's so many people that come in to watch the game and they're pumped up so it gets you pumped up even if you have to work. It's still like exhilarating I guess. But Iowa fans were pumped up for most of the afternoon as the Hawkeyes took a 17 to 10 lead over the number four Buckeyes into halftime. Unfortunately Ohio State regained the lead in the fourth quarter and never looked back, defeating the Hawks by a final score of 34 to 24. I know like Kinnick's like loud, but bar seems like so much louder. There's just like when there's commercials, there's just music going and getting people pumped up, and so it's like it's like a party, I guess. Both the party and the Hawkeye football season will continue in Iowa City this weekend when the Northwestern Wildcats come into town to face the Hawks at Kinnick Stadium on Saturday. For more Hawkeye sports coverage, follow from Kinnick to Carver on Twitter at Kinnick to Carver and Go Hawks!